David, are you working? I'm working! I'm working! What's going on guys? If you guys have been watching our channel for the past year, you know that we moved to New York City about a year ago. Now the first question that people ask you when you say you live in NYC is, where do you live? And to answer that question, we are making this video. We're showing you where we live. We're showing you our living room, our new podcast set, all the amenities that this building has. I mean, in my opinion, this is the best building in Manhattan. You guys, one Manhattan Square, you gotta check it out, follow us. All right, starting off the tour of One Manhattan Square, AKA OMS for short. We wanna show you our unit. It's not only where we live, David, it's our office, it's our film set, it's everything. So our unit is a two bed, two bath, and I have to be honest, this is an upgrade from where we used to live. This is the nicest spot um, I've ever lived in personally, so I'm very, very fortunate to be here. This is the first bathroom. This is my bathroom, and this is also the guest bathroom. Now, there's a lot of space, there's a lot of stuff in these cabinets I'm not really gonna show you, but I'll tell you this, man, it is just nice to have your own bathroom for once. All right, David, that was my bathroom, but you gotta show them the scooter closet. Boom! Cause you know we are scootering around New York City, baby! I gotta be honest, just a closet this big to hold four scooters. First of all, that's speaking on how portable these scooters are, but also how large this closet is. One of the another cool things about living in a luxury building, David, something that I've never had in my life is one of these intercom systems. The front desk will buzz us and let us know that the food delivery is here. One of the most luxurious features of any apartment in New York City is of course, the washer and dryer. But most importantly, I gotta show you the living room, the main room, this is the podcast set, this is the work room, this is where we spend most of our time. You know, in previous apartments, we don't have the big windows with a lot of natural lighting that look really good. We don't necessarily have this view of the city or the ultra high ceilings. Cause when you have really high ceilings, it kind of gives you a loft-like feeling, which um, it sort of just lets your thoughts like rise to the top. So there's a lot about this apartment, but you you say what your two favorite pieces of this whole living room is. It's this couch. It's the couch, David. This is this is actually David's couch right here. David, David's just like, hey, David, hey, this is David after playing basketball no, 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 for three no, no, hours. No, that's just crazy because you, uh, you got the hyper vault and you got the camera gun. <laughs> Let me turn these off real quick. Hold on. Uh, no, see, you can't do it yo, like me. You can't do it I like me. I shoot so many jumpers. You can't do it like me. <laughs> you can't do it like me because you don't even have the calves necessary where you need this. <sighs> All right, one of my favorite aspects of this is the workstation right here, guys. Um, this is where we will edit a lot of videos, edit our podcast, I will upload footage here. Also, this is just my own personal um, computer as well. I got this from Amazon and I love this desk, watch. Oh, it gets higher, really high. The thing I love about this set is because me and Andrew are not the most design oriented people on planet earth so really what better to take care of the design than the city itself guys this is a live background we can we're actually looking at the manhattan bridge right now and there's so much action here you can see cars literally ride by as we're doing our podcast and to me waking up with a view like this it just makes me feel alive like i'll be honest um sometimes even if it's gloomy outside or anything you just look at the city you look at everybody moving and you're just like yo i'm ready to get to work so one of the major design aesthetics that we wanted to go with here at, um, with our unit at OMS, One Manhattan Square, was like Ame Leon Doré. Now, if you guys know about the brand Ame, it's like one of the hottest streetwear brands. It is based out of New York City, and they almost have like a Paris hype beast retro basketball aesthetic. It's really difficult to describe, but it's a lot of whites, browns, greens, and reds. And it's almost designed to be like 1930s Paris mixed with like 90s New York basketball. Okay, so I must say, I am the plant bro of the two, and right here I'm going to show you how I prune my plants. Here, you have to cut off the little edges. There you go. There you go, little buddy. One feature of this kitchen that I never thought I would ever use is the wine cooler. 
wow but actually you know being in new york you're able to get so many cool wines and also working with some wine companies all right let's just check out the main bathroom real quick uh as you can see in the main bathroom here guys we've got this like stone wall aesthetic andrew's got more like tiles and i love that differentiation because in a lot of spots you know the bathrooms could look the same i think when you switch up the textures it just feels different, like you're transported in a different vibes. All right, you guys, you know in these Cribs videos, everybody wants to know what items and consumer products you have. I have two different Jordans representing two different sides of my life on the performance basketball aspect. Jordan 34, this is a Zion colorway. And of course the Emma Manier Jordan 3s. And um, shout out to uh, Soul Sneakers 206 for hooking these up. I love the streetwear collabos, Andrew, with the Jordans. Mm -hmm. I think for a while, you know, it was about uh, OG colorways, which are still great. But let's be honest, guys, things change. Union 4s right here, the guavas. Um, and honestly, they just look good in the background. So probably what we'll do is we'll have them in the background for a while. And then eventually we will un-DS them and wear them when we get some new pairs. A pair of shoes that obviously are very special to me and my friend Richie here are his Collegium and Richie Lee Collabo Destroyer in the highs. I bought these from Nordstrom. Um, I went up to uh, Columbus Circle to pick them up. So shout out to Richie. I'm so happy. It for was that. so dope to be able to buy something yeah. that Richie came out of Richie's brain at Nordstrom's. Mm -hmm. We're from Seattle. Nordstrom's is from Seattle. Richie is still based in Seattle, and it's special. Matching with the Syracuse's, you got the orange Yeezy slides. Uh, Andrew, out in New York, we've seen people hooping these. Yeah, a lot of people are rocking Yeezy slides. Of course, they're super comfortable. Syracuse, New York. Very versatile shoe, of course. Dunks you can wear them with anything. You got the Tomoyase Air Force One, obviously very Asiatic. This is a collaboration with a Japanese artist. I think that for certain pieces like this, Andrew, they're almost better as art pieces than wearing on foot. Oh, last but not least, guys, I know people like to see what gadgets people are using. I cannot tell you enough how good the Sonos Move is. You can use it indoors, outdoors, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. This little th guy gets loud. Yo, it actually has amazing quality. You can turn it up super loud. And man, Spotify has this new loud feature that even makes things louder. I would recommend it. Boom. All right, everybody. So that was our unit, of course. It's beautiful, the natural lighting is crazy, the tall ceilings are amazing, but I think the features that really just blow every other building out of the water are the amenities. And by amenities, I'm talking about the pool, the basketball court, the golf simulator, the squash court, the theater, just everything. You just gotta see for yourself. This is something that we do use on almost like a daily basis, the full-size NBA regulation basketball court. Guys, check it out. This is hard to find in New York City. All right, everybody, so right now, there's not a lot of people hooping because it's the middle of the day, but in the evening, there's some pretty good runs. Plus, the lighting setups are crazy. Let me just check it out real quick. Check Hold this on. out. As you can see, guys, we can actually change the light patterns on the ceiling. I've never seen anything like this. This is like something you would imagine that Drake would have, but honestly, this is even better than the basketball court that Drake has. Yo, we actually shot this really cool little promo video here at the basketball court. It kind of looks like a Nike commercial. Shout out to Dan Chang. Guys, we're gonna cut in some coverage of us playing with the 6 to 8 p.m. crowd real quick. Come on. Hey, good games here at the OMS. Whether you're shooting the ball a you're gonna get a workout in. All right, one of the best amenities in this building is this spa. Cold plunge, sauna, steam room, pool, and terrarium. It really is like a mini Equinox. Obviously, it's in the middle of the day, everybody else is working, but hey, we're also working. This is work right here. David, are you working? I'm working. I'm working. Yo, you're sweating already, bro. Gotta relax, man. Been working hard. One of my favorite spa amenities here at the One Manhattan Square is the cold plunge. It just rocks your whole nervous system, gets everything flowing. Okay. About to bowl. All right, so some buildings out there, they do have gyms, but they don't have this.
No bumper rails needed. Now they don't only have basketball, they have a ton of other sports depending on your preference. Of course, we've got the squash court right here. I've seen people play handball here even. And here you've got your golf simulator. Let's see if this is open. As you can see, the golf balls get placed right here. And then you would just tug it, tug it, tug it, tug it, would y'all? Four! Is that any good? Movie night, y'all. Come on. So what's the clip saying? Basically, she said that Asian baby girls have a look. It sounded funny. You, you made the point. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that's so true, bro. The movies are back. ABG culture. It definitely is referring to. Hey, you could run your own mixology bar here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, the, the wine. wine. And then I said, let's up the numbers on that deal a little bit, and then we can talk. <laughs> There's even this cool little side pathway that leads to a Zen garden. Let's check it out. And here's a very nice and quiet Zen garden. Well, it's definitely quiet right now because there's no train. I like it up here. They've got a tree house. Ugh! Yo, nice place to chill. How often do you find a tree house in the city? One Manhattan Square has the most amenities in all of Manhattan. David, this is your favorite room, the billiards room. As you can see, guys, this room really has that like retro 1970s, 1980s vibe. As you can see, they've got some like kids, like high school awards on the wall. I really think it's supposed to give you that divey, vibey, you know, retro feel. Like we said, you got billiards, you got pool, you even got a game room, guys. People are playing games here for real. Bop, bop, bop. And one of the most unique features about this entire building is that on the third floor, there's actually a cafe that's open from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the weekdays. And you can actually buy anything from coffee to pastries to bagels to bacon, egg, and cheeses to soups and sandwiches and everything like that. And you can even get this delivered to your doorstep too. So I'm gonna go order a bacon, egg, and cheese and maybe a everything bagel uh, with halloumi cheese. All right, so here I got your classic bacon, egg, and cheese on a croissant right here. Take a look. Very cleanly done, nice, nicely done guys. Sandwich on a poppy seed bagel, look at that. So halloumi cheese is kind of like a very firm uh, Mediterranean goat cheese and it fries up really well. Almost feels like tofu at some point. So let me bite this real quick. Mmm, wow. So of course you have all the amenities in the cafe, but this building, One Manhattan Square, is situated really in the best food zone in the whole city, in my opinion. So, you know, you got a ton of stuff and they deliver straight to the door, so. Boom, sometimes you just open up the door, it's just waiting right there because, you know, the delivery people, they can come up, they just leave it by your door, nobody's gonna take it. All right, so David, what'd you order, man? Dim sum go-go. Yeah, That's actually low-key one of the better dim sum spots, I would say, like, that is catering to the Western market and a diverse customer base. But I'll say this, man, Dim Sum Go Go is legit. All right, you guys, you're looking at Dim Sum Go Go. This is right around the corner. We easily could have walked here and picked it up if we wanted to, but you guys, they do deliver straight to the door. I think that is a huge advantage. 
and uh, delivery fees not too bad especially obviously if you have one of the apps I'm going straight for the shield my mm, saw my and you know why that's a good shield my in my opinion and similar to Hong Kong style because it's small mm. a lot of people do those gigantic golf ball shield my I'm personally not as big of a fan all right, you guys, what we have here is a dumpling sampler. Andrew, what are you going in for? All right, this is my favorite, the Shinjukun. This is a tofu skin wrapped around kind of like a sausage and mushroom mixture. This is one of my favorite dim sum dishes of all time. Different textures. I love it. So you saying you can get that delivered straight to your doorstep? Bro, we do live in a pretty nice building, and we're very fortunate to live here, but we're also fortunate to live next to Chinatown. Mmm. Dim Sum Gogo -Go is one of the spots that most closely mimics Hong Kong. But the food in this neighborhood, even the immediate like three, four blocks is amazing out here. And that's another thing that I like about living here. All right, you guys, that is it for my New York City apartment tour. I know that everybody who lives in New York City always gets asked to make these as far as YouTubers go. I know a ton of people were messaging us. Where are you guys filming your podcast at? Where do you guys stay at? Which neighborhoods are good? Well, you guys already know, One Manhattan Square OMS is personally my favorite building I've ever lived in in my entire life anywhere. Again, we're very, very happy and fortunate to live here. Man, it's like in the middle of a different neighborhoods, LES, Chinatown. This particular area is called Two Bridges. So it's just really cool. And we're gonna be making a video about all the great food gems, even within just like four or five blocks of here. Um, and of course, you know, we got our scooters, so that allows us to just go everywhere in the city that we want. But uh, please stay tuned, hit that thumbs up, click subscribe, um, let us know what you guys thought about the video, let us know what you thought about the building, and let us know what you like about New York City. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.